Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about periodic functions and how to find Laplace transform of periodic functions. First let me see what is the definition of periodic function. Definition Periodic function A function f of t is said to be a periodic function is said to be a periodic function with period p with period p if the fun function satisfies the condition f of t plus p equal to f of t. So whenever a function satisfies this condition then the function is said to be a periodic function with the period is this p where this p is called fundamental period also. So <coughs> let me see one example. Example first take f of t equal to sin t. So we need to check this function is periodic or not. If it is periodic means what is the period of this function we have to verify. So first if we take f of t plus pi, if we take f of t plus pi means here also we have to change sin of t plus pi. Sin of t plus pi is nothing but sin of 180 plus theta. So sin, sin 180 plus theta is not plus sin t is a minus sin t so we have to choose, choose 2 pi so f of t plus 2 pi so that is sin of t plus 2 pi so sin of t plus 2 pi is nothing but sin of 360 plus theta so that is nothing but sin t again so sin t is, is nothing but f of t Therefore, we reach the definition f of t plus 2 pi equal to f of t. So, this is looking like our definition f of t plus p equal to f of t. Here, the value of p is 2 pi. Therefore, sin t is a periodic function. Sin t is a periodic function with period 2 pi. So like that we can give many examples for periodic functions. Now we can move for how to find Laplace transform of periodic function. So that is our aim here. So finding Laplace transform of periodic functions. So to find Laplace transform of a periodic function, we need to follow one theorem. The theorem tells if f of t is a periodic function, with period p Then the Laplace transform of f of t is defined as L of f of t equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus p s equal 0 to p e power minus st f of t dt. So this is a definition for finding Laplace transform of periodic function. So using this formula we can find the Laplace transform of periodic function. Alright, let me see one problem. Find 
the Laplace transform of of the function f of t equal to 1 in the interval 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to a and minus 1 in the interval a less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2a with the condition f of t plus 2a equal to f of t. So this condition tells that the given function f of t is a periodic function with period p. So the year 2a is a period. The value of p is now 2a. Therefore this is a periodic function with period 2a. Now we can apply the above definition that formula we can use to find the Laplace transform this formula l of f of t equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus ps integral 0 to p e power minus st f of t dt so we can use this formula easily we can find what is the laplace transform of this periodic function so this function is a one special function called a rectangular wave function or sometimes square wave function Square wave function or rectangular wave function. So square is a kind of rectangle. So sometimes that is called square also. Generally rectangle square wave function, rectangle wave function. Right. Now we can uh, use our definition of Laplace transform of periodic function L of f of t equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus ps equal 0 to p e power minus st f of t dt now here here our p value is 2a therefore use here instead of p 2a so e power minus 2a s our period is 2a here so equal 0 to 2a e power minus st f of t dt now see here the given function is a piecewise function so this piecewise function is first part is 0 to a and second part is a to 2a so the function defined for these two intervals so the so we can define like this take the interval 0 to 2a 0 to 2a is partitioned as two intervals 0 to a one function that is called 1 this so function value is 1 and a to 2a is another interval the function value is minus 1 so this is our case now so so here we can divide the integral as like this integral 0 to a e power minus st in 0 to a the function value is 1 so take that 1 into dt plus next a to 2a in the interval a to 2a the function value is minus 1 so e power minus st into function value is minus 1 into dt so next you can easily integrate this function 1 minus e power minus 2as integral 0 to a e power minus st into dt then minus integral a to 2a e power minus st into dt now 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2as now this is simple integration so integration of e power minus st so integration of e power minus st is e power minus st by minus s and the limits are 0 to a minus the second function also the same function so e power minus t by minus s there is an integration of e power minus s t the limits are a to 2a so now apply the upper and lower limits here 
so 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2as the upper limit is e power minus s apply the limit for t so e, e power minus s into a divide by minus s just replace this t as a next minus again replace t as 0 so we can see we can get 0 and anything is 0 therefore e power 0 by minus s so this is the first term minus the second term is apply the first upper limit so we can get e power minus s into 2a divide by minus s minus we substitute a to t you can get e power minus s a divide by minus s so the next line 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2a s so just expand this brackets so e power minus s a can be written as a s divide by s then minus into minus plus e power 0 is 1 divide by s then take this minus inside so minus into minus plus e power minus i will write this as 2 a s divide by s then again minus into minus plus plus into minus again minus so e power minus a s divide by s so see here every terms we have one s is common so take that s outside so 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 a s take that 1 by s outside the remaining term is minus e power minus a s plus 1 plus e power minus 2 a s minus e power minus a s that is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 a s into 1 by s so this is nothing but we can write this as 1 the first take this number 1 first then see here e power minus a s minus e power minus a s minus e power minus a s occurs two times therefore this is nothing but minus two times e power minus a s then last term e power minus 2 a s so just we arrange in one order so see it is looking like what so easily we can uh, identify this expression so 1 by s so this is looking like a square that is 1 square is 1 minus 2 a b 2 into 1 is 2 minus a s plus this is nothing but b square format e power minus a s and take the 2 to the whole power so e power minus a s whole square so we can convert here also the same same way here also 1 minus e power minus a s whole square we can write so this is 1 by s so this is nothing but 1 minus e power minus a s whole square so this is very very simple expression uh, already we know the formula of a minus b whole square so a minus b whole square equal to a square minus 2 a b plus b square now we are having the place of a is 1 and the place of b is e power minus a s just if we expand we can get the above form that's it. very very simple this one and here another form we are having in the denominator so here 1 minus e power minus a s whole square so th this one we can return as 1 square so 1 square minus e power minus a s whole square so this is of the form a square minus b square so the formula form formula of a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b this is the formula for a square minus b square here also the place of a is 1 and the place of b is e power minus a s therefore we can write this is 1 plus e power minus a s and the 1 minus e power minus a s ok so in this formula just substitute a equal to 1 b equal to e power minus a s in the above two formulas you just substitute this one and e power minus a s you can get these two forms into 1 by s into 1 minus e power minus a s whole square now this is 1 minus e power minus a s here also 1 minus e power minus a s whole square is there so we can eliminate one power so the remaining term is 1 by s 1 minus e power minus a s divide by 1 plus e power minus a s so this is one simple formula 
called tan hx. The formula for tan hx is 1 minus e power minus 2x divided by 1 plus e power minus 2x. So we need 1 minus e power minus x formula. So 1 minus e power minus x means just divide this angle by 2. So that is take x by 2 here. So we can get e power 1 minus e power minus x divided by 1 plus e power minus x. So it is a simple formula for tan hx by 2. So 1 minus e power minus x by 1 plus e power minus x is nothing but tan hx by 2. So we can replace that as tan h as by 2. So in our case the place of x, the place of x equal to as. Just replace ax as as, you can get the above form. So that is nothing but tan h as by 2. So this is the Laplace transform of the given periodic function. So the same problem, the same problem sometimes they may ask like this also. So f of t equal to uh, the piecewise function of e for the limit 0 to t, 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to a and minus e for a less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 a. Sometimes they may ask k minus k, like that they may change any constant. So here e is nothing but constant. Here e is a constant. So we can take that constant outside from this piecewise function or in integration also you can take e outside. The place of e will become 1. Again you can get the same answer but final answer will be so for this function L of f of t is nothing but 1 e will be outside that's all. What is the Laplace transform of 1 minus 1 in the same answer just multiply 1 e therefore you can get e into 1 by s that is e by s tan h a s by 2. So this will be the Laplace transform of the periodic function in the above form. So in the next video we will discuss some other problems. Thank you.